8511 is a NIOSH approved N95 disposable particulate respirator. You can use this respirator for non-harmful dust and certain particles encountered during sandy projects, such as bare wood, non-lead painted surfaces, or drywall. It can also be used for sweeping, installation of fiberglass insulation, pollen and mold spores, as well as non-harmful dust encountered during outdoor activities, such as gardening, cutting firewood, raking, and mowing. Make sure to always use in well-ventilated areas. Do not use this respirator for gases, vapors, odors, or oil particulates. You should also not use this respirator for toxic or harmful substances such as lead and asbestos. For further information or guidance, contact the EPA at www.epa.gov. To begin use, first, cup the respirator in your hand with a nose piece at your fingertips, allowing for the headbands to hang freely below your hand. Second, Position the respirator under your chin with the nose piece up. Pull the top strap over your head until it rests on the crown of your head above your ears. Third, pull the bottom strap over your head and place it on the back of your neck so it rests just below your ears. Fourth, using both hands starting at the top of the nose clip, mold the metal nose clip around your nose to achieve a secure seal. Note. Pinching the nose piece using one hand may result in an improper fit and less effective respirator performance. Use two hands. Be sure to follow proper user instructions included with your respirator. After use, to properly remove the respirator, first, cup the respirator in your hand to maintain the position on your face. Second, pull the bottom strap up over your head. Third, still holding the respirator in position, Pull the top strap over your head and remove the respirator. Replace the respirator immediately if it becomes damaged, dirty, or breathing becomes difficult. Perform a user seal check prior to each wearing. To check the respirator to face seal, place both hands completely over the respirator and inhale sharply. Be careful not to disturb the position of the respirator. A negative pressure should be felt inside the respirator. If air leaks around the nose, readjust the nose piece. If air leaks at the respirator edges, work the straps back along the sides of your head. If you cannot achieve a proper seal, do not enter the contaminated area.